Hi, I'm Dr. Abhishek Mangeshika, an endometriosis surgeon. Today we're going to focus on retrocervical deep endometriosis, also known as rectovaginal disease. This is a form of deep infiltrating endometriosis that affects the area behind the cervix and that can extend into the rectum or vaginal wall. Unfortunately, it's one of the most frequently overlooked types of endometriosis. Often, retrocervical disease is not fully removed during surgery, which can lead to persistent symptoms and a recurrence of the condition. Most general gynecologists are very scared to operate in this area and will term it as too dangerous to touch disease on the bowel. In this video, we'll break down what retrocervical deep endometriosis is, its unique symptoms, why it's often missed, and the importance of complete excision, what is known as the butterfly excision technique. Let's dive in. Retrocervical endometriosis refers to the presence of endometriosis lesions in the area behind the cervix. This region includes the rectovaginal space located between the rectum and the vagina, the uterosacral ligaments, which provide support to the uterus, the posterior vaginal wall, which can also be affected in more severe cases. This form of endometriosis is a subtype of deep endometriosis, meaning the lesions grow deeper into the tissues, often causing more severe symptoms than superficial disease. The symptoms of Retrocervical endometriosis can vary depending on how deeply the disease infiltrates the surrounding structures. But here are the most common signs to watch out for. Painful periods, also known as dysmenorrhea. Severe cramping that doesn't respond to over-counter medications. Pain during intercourse or dyspareunia. Pain is typically felt with deep penetration and certain positions which may linger even after intercourse. Painful bowel movement. Pain or difficulty during bowel movements, especially during menstruation. This can include bloating, incomplete evacuation of the bowel, catamenial constipation, and or diarrhea. Chronic pelvic pain, persistent pain in the lower abdomen or back that occurs throughout the cycle. Gastrointestinal symptoms such as bloating, diarrhea, constipation, or rectal bleeding during menstruation. Infertility, retrocervical disease can also affect the uterosacral ligaments and other structures critical to conception. Retrocervical endometriosis is frequently missed for several reasons. Symptoms like bowel pain or bloating are often misdiagnosed as IBS or other gastrointestinal disorders. In many cases, retrocervical disease is only partially treated. Surgeons may ablate the surface lesions without addressing the deeper infiltrating disease. Like I mentioned, many gynecological surgeons are not comfortable addressing disease that is near the bowels or near the ureter, so they will do a superficial surgery at best. Standard ultrasounds may not detect deep infiltrating lesions. Transvaginal ultrasound or MRI performed by a skilled radiologist or gynecologist is often required for accurate diagnosis. Accurate diagnosis of retrocervical endometriosis is critical to ensure complete treatment. Here's how it's typically done. A detailed history of symptoms, including their timing and severity, is essential. A gynecologist may feel nodules or thickening behind the cervix or the uterosacral ligaments during an exam. Transvaginal ultrasound, performed by a specialist with an endometriosis protocol, can help identify deep infiltrating endometriosis. An MRI can provide a detailed view of the rectovaginal space and the lateral pelvic spaces and give us an idea of the infiltration into surrounding structures. Laparoscopy is a minimally invasive surgery which allows for direct visualization and excision of the affected areas. It is not used merely as only a diagnostic tool and the preparation for laparoscopy should be preceded with proper imaging and the laparoscopy should be to finish the diagnosis and to complete the treatment in the same setting. Effective treatment for retrocervical endometriosis involves complete excision of the disease. This is known as the butterfly excision technique. It involves precise removal of all affected tissue in the retrocervical region known as the uterine torus, including the peritoneum over the uterosacral ligaments and possibly the peritoneum in the rectovaginal areas and underneath both the ovaries. This excision is named for the butterfly-shaped dissection pattern used to completely remove diseased tissue. Ablation, which is burning of the surface lesions, often leaves deeper disease untouched, leading to a persistence of symptoms and a high risk of recurrence. Complete excision ensures that all infiltrating disease is removed, providing better symptom relief and reducing the likelihood of recurrence. This procedure requires advanced surgical expertise. Patients with retrocervical endometriosis should seek care at specialized centers who experienced in managing deep infiltrating disease. Managing retrocervical endometriosis requires a combination of surgical and supportive care. Post-surgical recovery, after excision surgery, patients may benefit from physical therapy to address pelvic floor dysfunction. Hormonal therapies or pain management strategies may be recommended to address residual symptoms or prevent recurrences. Adopting an anti-inflammatory diet and practicing stress management techniques like yoga or mindfulness can complement the improved overall well-being and recovery process. It is a complementary therapy and not a substitute for surgery. 
Follow-ups with your healthcare team are essential to track recovery and address any lingering issues. Retrocervical deep endometriosis is a serious condition that deserves greater awareness. If you experience symptoms like painful periods, painful intercourse, or bowel-related discomfort, don't hesitate to seek specialized care. Complete excision using advanced techniques like the butterfly excision can significantly improve your quality of life and reduce the risk of recurrence. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has helped you better understand retrocervical deep endometriosis, its symptoms and the importance of thorough treatment. If you found this helpful, please like, share and subscribe on more expert insights on managing endometriosis. If you have questions or personal experiences with retrovaginal or retrocervical disease, share them in the comments below. Your story could help raise awareness and support others. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.